personally don't care for celebrity gossip. I mean, just give me small scale gossip. I wanna know why the night shift employees at Dollar Tree are mad at each other. First time filming in with in my bedroom with the Christmas decor background. If you have not seen the decorate video of this room, I will link it down below for you guys. Two things for today's video. One, well, probably several things. I don't even know. One, it's a huge haul. Um, two, it's probably going to be long, so maybe grab a drink or a blanket. And three, what, what was the third thing? Like you can't even remember the third thing that was in your mind a second ago. Oh, no editing in which I'll want to edit that out. But all right, so I know a lot of you guys actually love the no editing and I know a lot of you also love the longer videos. If you do not like the longer videos, this might not be the one for you guys. But anyways, let's dive in. I'm not gonna spend another minute on, um, yeah, this, this is why I edit, okay. I'm already editing. It just never works out. Okay, so um, huge, like I said, a huge haul combination of Christmas stuff and just everyday type of stuff. Let me show you guys that I found some new gift boxes. I absolutely love gift wrapping. I spend actually quite a bit of my time wrapping presents. And so I'm always very, um, selective you know with the boxes and the wrapping paper i just have a really good time i put on a movie you know while i wrap presents and things like that it's probably the most fun that i have during the holiday season and i found these new gift boxes they're so cute and what i love about these is you get three in here but it shows you the three that you get so that you kind of know what you're buying, which I think they should do that for all of them. Sometimes they don't show you what's on the inside, so you just don't know what you're getting until you open it. But I'm gonna go ahead and open these so that you guys can see the third um, cover a little bit better. So here's this one with the camper, and then there's like a plaid detail on the edge. Oh, and the camper is plaid. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love that. Um, I actually really like the sizes of these. I always find myself, I don't know why, um, I always have like smaller things to wrap. And then here is this one, which honestly deserves a double and triple of. I think the text and the font is very pretty. The color combinations are spot on. And then look at this, the inside detail or the side detail so pretty and i love the red truck too the wreath and everything in the tree there's like snowflakes in the tree all of the little details on here are perfect sometimes they can in my opinion um add details that sometimes don't make sense or takes away from the overall image but i think they nailed it with that one and then here's this one not my favorite i don't know I really don't know why. I think maybe it's missing something, but the concept of the wagon is really cute. And then there's the cardinal at the top, darling. I think that if the little tree had like lights or something and they did a star, maybe, I don't know, might be cute. I also think this is pretty random, this little thing right here. So anyways, the side just looks like that. And that's the third one that you get that you that you don't see um, with the packaging intact. I actually had grabbed two of these and then decided to put one back. No idea why, but I'll probably end up going back and getting another one. And then I found a plaid collection, which is new. Dollar Tree has never done a collection of gift boxes as, pla as a plaid theme. And so you know I'm all about that. And then here are the three that you get. And I'm, you know, I'm imagining that this buffalo check is going to be all the rage. And it is really cute. I don't normally use 
this combination very often in my house. If I do, it's upstairs in the media room. Um, these are probably my go-tos. I love how this one has almost an argyle look to it, right? And then here's this plaid. Yeah, so awesome that they gave us these, but I definitely think of the three, the Buffalo check is the winner for sure. So um, yeah, I think that's really amazing. And I feel like my Dollar Trees are still kind of in the process of putting things out, but I don't know, is your Dollar Tree like done putting things out? Like where, like what's going on at your stores? Um, but I, but every time I walk into mine, there's just boxes everywhere. And I go to at least four or five different Dollar Trees and they're all about the same, still putting stuff out. Okay, then I wanted to show you guys that I found some really cute uh, holiday cards. Not the handmade ones that are standalones. They put those in like their own display. These are the ones that are in the actual card aisles at Dollar Tree. And I decided to pick up this Thanksgiving one. But I'm kind of wondering, I know I picked up some Thanksgiving cards, but did I already pick up this one? You guys, I don't even know. But I really love this one because I love the nighttime scene of this little Thanksgiving village. It's so cute. There's like a basket of apples there and pumpkins and all kinds of things. And there's even like some glittery touches. Look at this tree with the detailed fall leaves on it. That is so cute. Um, but this one I'm definitely gonna actually send out to a family member, just a happy Thanksgiving card. So got that one. I got another Thanksgiving card that looks like this. I thought it was very beautiful, very classic, I suppose. And then here's the inside. And I got the same color envelope. They tend to do that too sometimes. I feel like, for example, if you go to the card aisle and you shop Halloween, all the envelopes are orange. Thanksgiving, it's gonna be this color. And then Christmas, it's gonna be red. So that's why those handmade cards, the other ones I was talking about, which I already did a huge haul on, I'll try to find that video and link it down below in case you wanna see what those cards look like, um, because Dollar Tree does keep those separate from these. But those cards, they always change up the color of the envelope. I just said envelope and then envelope. I don't know, I say both. Do you guys say both or what? But anyways, I found this cute little happy holiday one. And what I liked about it was that it was like this. Super adorable. And it is from Hallmark, by the way. And I love the little sign that says this way Santa. Super, super cute. And I love the font of that too. So I got that. And then let's keep going. Oh. This wasn't put out yet. It was in a box, but that's literally irrelevant information, but the box was open. So I grabbed a couple of these, but they're these little, what would you call these? Honestly, I would probably use these maybe to put like a tea light candle holder in here, but look how gorgeous this is. Frosted in gold. They also have this in silver too, but I don't, I don't do silver. So um, so I did get a couple of the gold and they're so pretty and honestly, these would also be great as ornaments You could just like put them in the tree Super super pretty. I mean, I think these are new. I don't remember them being out last year, but Listen, they could have been and then I found some candles and I loved the packaging of these How cute the stripes are so candy cane gingerbread for me. I don't because I guess I use these colors for the gingerbread. And what I loved about these, like the moment I saw them, my mind thought instantly a gift basket, like just immediately. Hopefully I'm gonna have time to show you guys some gift baskets. I That's why I decided to start decorating early because I knew there was just a lot of content that I wanted to put together and share with you. So, and I know I was asked to do gift baskets and hopefully I get around to them. And if I do, you guys will be seeing stuff like this in there because I think these are so pretty and looks cute, already wrapped like a gift. So they've done the work for you and they're just a dollar. So I love that. And then just gonna reach over here. I found a new lip balm and it does have a winter look to it because you can see the snowflakes and then they did a vanilla mint flavor. 
So I thought that was really cool and I love that the little lip balm is green. So this is gonna be really good for a stocking stuffer. Now in the past videos, I've done a ton of Dollar Tree stocking stuffer ideas the last couple of years. I'll link all of those down below for you guys if you wanna go back and watch them. But comment or thumbs up and let me know if you want a new one for 2020. So, and if you do, do you want for her, for him, for kids? So let me know. Cause I can tend to really gear towards for her because my life is just full of girls. You know, I put stuff in my own stocking. I've got a, a 20 year old daughter and then my little niece. So like I, I tend to focus on, on those things. And so I'm just, you know, girls in my life, but let me know, like I said, for her, for him, for kids. Um, okay, then Dollar Tree, let's see, make sure I got all of them. Dollar Tree has done these stencils before, but they came out with the holiday one, and I'm super excited about them. The moment I saw this one, I was just like, yes. So, so cute. Santa, stop here, please. So all the little stencils and the cool thing is, is that you don't have to use like here or please you could just do Santa stop or Santa stop here or, or use a whole combination and then here is another option so you get two stencils in here and I love that they made the stencils you know red and green so really cute not that at the end of the day that the color kind of matters but really really adorable oh I love the little Christmas tree that's a good stencil so if you're just into crafting DIYs, this will be a must pick up for a dollar. Here is this one that is Let It Snow. Really, really cute. You know what you could do is you could um, DIY like a chalkboard concept, which I've done a lot of those for Dollar Tree DIYs. I use those like party server platters and then I paint the like the the bottom part of it the chalk paint and then over that you could just dab white paint and stencil it and then you have a cute little like display that would be cute um and then here's this one that says season's greetings and then the back just has a bunch of little you know holiday embellishments i love the little candle and the bow too so really adorable love that they came out with those i can't even remember if they did those stencils last year or not. Somebody jog my memory and let me know. And then I found some brand new treat bags. They had a ton to choose from, but these were the ones that I just personally liked. And I grabbed this one. I know the print is a little bit difficult to see, but it has Santa, a snowman, and a toy soldier or like Nutcracker in there. So I thought those were really cute. And also I wanna point out that this year they gave us the foil tag so that you could, I don't know if you can see in the picture, but it's like, it's not a tag, but I guess it's like the sticker seal to close the, the gift bag, which I think that's a new concept. I don't know that Dollar Tree has done that before. They did it again with this one. Here's the seal and it has a little gingerbread theme which kind of also looks like they did like a little stamp version of all the little pictures. You've got the gingerbread house, the gingerbread tree, and then, wow, that's so amazing. And this one was my absolute favorite. And um, it says, happy holidays, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. And it just, it's just pretty traditional with all of the colors. So, so pretty, but they went with the, this little twisty tie to close it. So this is still like their older school way of closing the treat bag. Whereas I think the, the little gold tape is definitely brand new. And then I got the paper treat bags, which are actually my favorite. I think they are the cutest way to give like a small little gift or if you're doing like a secret Santa or something like that at work. These are so good. Um, I feel like the prints this year were so-so. Mm, Out of all of them, I gravitated towards the blue snowflakes. I thought they were the most, um, 
the best print for a broader audience, I guess you could say. You know, they had like Santa and a penguin and, and things like that. And that was really cute. But for some reason, when I went shopping, I just decided to only throw the snowflake in. So if like you're gonna do a mug with maybe some candy, you could definitely fit a mug in here. You know, add, you could punch a hole, add a little ribbon, thread the ribbon through the hole kind of thing, like a hole puncher, and then that would be really cute or you know, all kinds of way to like close this up. So absolutely love the paper treat bag. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be a long video. I'm already at 13 minutes and I haven't even hit half of anything. Ooh. Okay, I found some new candies. I've never seen them do this before. And these are individually wrapped mini candy canes. And I love that they individually wrapped them. So that makes it easy too, if you want to maybe split up the candy between multiple recipients. So here's Frosty the Snowman, and then here is the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Can we just talk about the packaging? Super cute. And then, I've never in my life seen this, but Warheads did a version of that as well. There are many candy canes, but obviously the Warheads style. And I've never seen that before. And I don't know if you guys can see the packaging on the inside, but they've got little lights on it. Oh my gosh, so cute. I love, I love these. So I'm definitely gonna use these for gift baskets. Now this candy they've had for several years, and I picked it up again because I did a gift basket with this last year, and I loved it. I think it's such a beautiful package for like a treat. It's just a peppermint crunch. But the packaging just, honestly, it sells me every freaking time. No high fructose corn syrup, and it's gluten-free. And it's made with cane sugar and sea salt, drizzled with sweet white and dark icing. Yeah, so absolutely love this for a gift basket. Then I found the Haribo gummy bears. You can see that they did the holiday packaging too. And the gummy bears are just the red and the green. Uh, the red is raspberry and the green is strawberry. Okay, then I found this little packaging, which is kind of smushed. Uh, I think Dollar Tree has done this several years now with little candy cane and the gummy bear. But these are really darling too for stocking stuffers and for like a little gift basket. But the little gummy bears are so cute. So I got those. All right, the next two pieces of candy are out of this world. I found the mini carnival pops and they're individually wrapped. But if you're gonna do any sort of tiered tray and these are your colors, I would pick this up for a dollar for that tiered tray. I mean, look how cute those are. And these are my perfect colors. I'm gonna be doing like a gingerbread theme and I feel like, oh, these are awesome. These are an awesome pickup. Probably, if I had to guess, my favorite thing in this whole haul. I know that's like, it's candy, but I just love the idea of using these in a tear tray. You can take the little lollipops, stick them into like a little mug on your tear tray and that would be really cute. So, and then this last piece of candy, you guys, I've never seen Dollar Tree do this, but it is a peppermint candy, but it is a cup. It's a candy cup, so it's like edible. What? Why is it, there we go, what? It's like a little shot glass. I mean, it's in the size of a shot glass and it is a peppermint cup. So I don't know, like if you know, you do like parties or like game night kind of thing and this is something that, you know, you would do, these would be really festive, I think. And I, sweet edible candy cup. I don't even know what to say. Oh my God, shook, that's all, that's all I can say. Okay, so that's it for the Christmas portion. Let's go ahead and dive into just all of the new stuff I found. Okay, I picked up these garbage bags and this one is particularly lemon scented, but I was thinking about maybe using these as like my trash bags for the trash cans in my bathrooms, but I, don't even know, four gallons. So I feel like this is probably the right size for that. And it says it's lemon scented. So, um, I don't know, let's, let's find out. Let's see. Okay. 
video is going to be an hour long. Kind of. Yeah, a little bit, which I like. I don't want it to be overpowering. I don't necessarily want my bathroom to smell like this, but the trash can to smell like lemon. Does that make sense? Like that, that I'd be good with. They also had these in different scents as well, but I forgot to look at them, so I don't know what they were. I just know that the, they were different colors and I could tell that they were like a different scent, maybe vanilla or something like that. Okay, then in the party section, because you can see the party label here, I found these glitter vase fillers and look at all of these colors. What? How cute. If you are doing a holiday wreath, a Christmas wreath with ornaments, these, and you're using like the ornaments from Dollar Tree, these little smaller ornament, these little vase fillers will really fill in those little gaps. So if any of these are like your particular colors, consider grabbing them if you are going to be making a wreath. So, because they have like really small little balls in there that you can fill in those gaps when you make a wreath. And I love the black one. I wish I would have found this for Halloween, but I'm just going to store it for next year. And I just want to point out that there's pink and blue. So if you're like putting together a baby shower or whatever, um, that's a really cute idea too. And then... It's been a while, but I feel like their sticker game has been eh lately. But I found these two, which are really cute. They have that balloon-ish look to them. I love the little gummy bears and the little balloon dogs. They're really, really cute. And I just want to point out that this yellow one has like little dots on it, which is really cute. So yeah, so I'm gonna let my niece play with these. She created like a little sticker book and she just peels these and puts them in her sticker book. Keeps the girl entertained for days. So, um, love that. Okay, also I found these SureFresh uh, cover-ups. And apparently there's set, set three different sizes, small, medium, and large in here. I keep flipping this over, but and they're supposed to like, let me just open it so we, so I can show you guys. Um, oh my gosh, the packaged incredibly well, you guys. And I think these are going to be a great pickup for the holidays, maybe to keep stuff warm or just, look at this. Okay, I'm very impressed. I've never bought this before, so this is my first time seeing what these actually look like. So I was only obviously going off of the photo and hoping, but what? This is amazing. I definitely need to go pick up another one of these because I just, you just don't know. Is it gonna still be there tomorrow? I don't know. That's the thing about Dollar Tree. Okay, then I got a new candle and it's so cute. But why am I just seeing this now? It's pumpkin spice and the packaging is so cute and country. And for some reason, it gives me Baby Boom vibes, the movie with Diane Keaton. Oh, and it smells so good. And I'm not really like an overly pumpkin person. Unfortunately, I don't like the taste of pumpkin pie or pumpkin spice latte. I know, I know. But when I taste it, it just my taste buds say, nope. But um, the packaging is just so cute with the gingham and it smells phenomenal. Oh, I love the Dollar Tree candles. If you're new to my channel, I feel like almost 10 out of 10 times every candle I get is top notch. And I use these in my like, in smaller spaces, entryway guest bathroom. And I feel like it just smell, the whole area smells amazing. Okay. Let's get into some food items. It's been a while. I don't normally buy food from Dollar Tree, but I was super shook to find Stroop waffles at the Dollar Tree. What? I will say that the expiration date is getting near. It says December 16th, 2020, is that what it says? Yeah, so just keep in mind with that, which I'm kind of not surprised. It's probably why they ended up at Dollar Tree in the first place. But if you've never had yourself a Stroop, Stroop waffle, 
Oh my gosh. Actually, my brother got me onto these. He ended up going, he ended up going to, where did he go? He went somewhere in Europe and he had these and then told me all about them. And I want to point out that these are caramel, the caramel ones, which are my personal favorites. They make a ton of different ones and um, they're so good. <laughs> I can't believe these are a Dollar Tree. Okay, then I found Betty Crocker pasta salad. What? And they look pretty good. And they're, it's called Suddenly Pasta Salad. And I found Ranch and Bacon and the Classic. Now, I am not a pasta salad person, but my daughter is. And she loves when I make pasta salad. And this classic one is pasta, red peppers, and seasoning. And I cannot wait to try this for her. And then the this one is pasta, vegetable, blend, and seasoning. So I feel like these are new. I've never seen them at Dollar Tree before, but I will say what's not new is carrying better Betty Crocker stuff because I feel like Dollar Tree's been doing that for a long time now. And then I found this, which I need your help in case you've used this before. Comment, let me know what your thoughts are on this, but this is panko breadcrumbs. Hopefully I'm saying that right. It's Japanese style breadcrumbs and I've been really into the panko. Um, I get a different brand from like Walmart, probably like the, the Great Value brand. But so I saw this at Dollar Tree and thought, let me try it. And I actually use the panko breadcrumbs to bread like a chicken breast. And then I'll add lemon to it while I'm cooking. I actually made a tutorial video on my vlog. Um, and I've been hooked on panko breadcrumbs ever since. It's just so good. Um, so I don't know, but if you've had this one, this brand in particular, please comment, let me know what you think. And I love that it's like a little easy pop lid kind of thing. So that's really cool. I feel like I'm going to sneeze, but I'm trying to do no editing. Um, oh, here's another sticker. I really, I really think the sneeze, excuse me but super cute okay what do i show you guys next okay let's go in for some lip glosses um i thought i had four of these yep all right i found the diamond lip glosses again but it's been a while since i've oops since i've hauled these so i feel like they're new this one right here i've never seen them do that color before but they have done the blue pink and white and but i feel like this is an update to be honest the packaging definitely looks like an update and they are little lip glosses so these are going to be really darling too as gift basket treats or um stocking stuffer so the white is a vanilla scented the pink is strawberry this special one is watermelon and this one is bubblegum. So there's that. And then I found a calculator from Jot, which is my favorite brand. Every time I say Jot, I, for some reason, I have to tell you that it's my favorite brand. Um, but what I've never seen before is a scientific calculator at Dollar Tree. Usually they just have like the standard calculators. This has all the additional buttons, you guys that does negatives, percentages, ratios, discounts, um, roots, all of those things. So now, how well does this calculator work? Um, do, you, do you maybe think about, my dryer's going off, do you maybe kind of wonder if it's gonna calculate correctly? Um, you know, there's that, but it was a dollar and I wanted to point it out to you guys in case you're interested enough to maybe go pick it up, try it, see how well it does. But I thought this was an awesome, epic, new $1 find. And then some of my favorite things lately to buy at Dollar Tree are pens. And I found a jackpot of new pens. And... Let me just show you the label because they're different and they are by Crayola. What? For a dollar. How awesome. And 
Uh, this, the one in the blue packaging are washable gel pens, okay? And then the one in the green packaging is felt tip pens. So there is a difference in the writing and you can see that you get these two colors and I don't know if the camera's gonna show you, but this is navy. Yeah, I feel like you can tell it's navy. So navy and light blue and felt. Here's another felt in purple and green. Wow. Oh, and they even have names. That's really, I love when they name the pens. Uh, the light blue is Surf's Up. The dark blue is See the Change, S-E-A, like the C. And then the purple is Iris Irresistible. Irresistible, Iris Irresistible. And then the green is Emerald City. And then the last of the felt ones, because I only got three, um, is the pink and red. The pink is Electric Blush, and the red is My Valentine. I guess I'm not surprised that they obviously name these. I mean, it's Crayola for Pete's sake. You know, they name all of their stuff. So, but what? And I felt like I did get every option that I could find, but it's not to say that there's not more available. And then here are the washable gel pens. Washable? That's amazing. So we already talked about the color on this. The purple here is lilac uh, bouquet. The pink is upbeat. B-E-E-T. And then this one, oh my gosh, the black one is called Little Black Dress and the blue one is called Twilight Sky. Yeah, that's definitely my favorite. Little Black Dress, that's so darling that they named a pen like that. So cute. And then a beauty product. Um, oh, obviously I have never tried those out, but I imagine they're gonna be stellar. I'm probably not gonna try them out in today's video. Um, but I will try them out on my Instagram. So the day that this video goes up, which is Monday, um, I'll try to remember to do a, a pen test over on my Instagram stories. Okay, then I found Salon Selectives, and this is a coconut um, and shea butter nourishing hair oil, and it says it's for all hair types. So I definitely was like, oh, I'm scooping this up for a dollar, for sure. Um, so I got that, and the very last things are more mugs, but Lord, stop me, because I literally have no more room for mugs, but somehow that will still not stop me. But all three of these are pet related, and this one says the best therapist has fur and four legs. So that could, you know, definitely be for a lot of different animals, not just a cat and a dog, you know, maybe a ferret, I don't know. But I will say that the text is kind of like a little bit lopsided. Do you see that? I think it was because it just didn't fit all the way, but maybe they should have just done it like, I don't know, more lines instead of just two lines. But I liked the concept of just the black text. And then here is this one. A house is not a home without paw prints. I feel like this is more doggy than than kitty cat, but listen, there you go. And then this one says, when I needed a hand, I found your paw, which is so cute. And the print is on both sides. Also, I just wanna say that I do have an Etsy shop now. I created a whole new Etsy shop and I've been, I love mugs and I thought this is like what I want to do. So definitely go check it out. Go see the mug collection that I've put up. And yeah, so I'll link my shop down below. But anyways, this was a really long video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And I love this haul. It was so, so fun. I Hopefully I won't forget to test those pins out for you. And that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll try to link every video that I mentioned. And I'll see you next time. Bye.